Hi guys, I'm Bruce Dev Dev Man, and today I've got another unboxing video for you. First off, I've got two new things that I've got. So these are some walking walking sticks or walking canes, probably 1930s, 40s. Um, this one is made out of uh, sort of bamboo, which is quite nice. It's not got a ferrule on the end, but other than that, it's really cool. I uh, really like it. I've got a similar one, however, it had sort of started to lose the shape of the bend here, so this is why I got that one. Uh, and it's this one is also in way better condition. Uh, my other one's got lots of cracks, more cracks than that, uh, all over. Um, so I'm going to give that a nice, this one a nice treat when I get back home, because I'm on holiday at the moment. And here is my second cane. So this one again is missing the fell at the end, and probably been broken off it's made out of bamboo again it's got a little silver collar here which is coming off slightly so you might be able to see there so I'm gonna have to fix that and it's got a little bit of damage on the end there uh, but apart from that it's great uh, I'm gonna give this a good treat when I get home getting a little bit clean right now um, yeah, it's a British silver hallmark. You probably won't be able to see it. it's quite faint there. Uh, it's 19, uh, 1912 hallmark. It's London. I couldn't make out the, the uh, manufacturer. So, the new thing that I've got today, I've been waiting for for ages, and it involves this, which, ar which arrived with uh, a couple of days ago in when I'm in a parcel from the US and this which I had for ages so without further ado let's get into this it is slightly ripped when it was given to me in the post and it also helpfully helped to identify what it was so this came all the way from Ukraine and since it already has a big hole in it I might as well just open it from that hole Yep, again I got this one from eBay. So yeah, I was using my standard sort of that was my German knife. Yeah. So this should be cool. Oh yeah, there it is. So this is a papaka. Ooh, ooh, and it also comes with some Soviet uh, cat badges as well. I'll just get these open for you. I think they're Soviet cat badges at least. They might be modern, uh, like Imperial Tsarist style ones. No, they are the Soviet ones. So, here we have that type, then we have this type here. So, pretty cool. And they are original. Which is also pretty awesome. We've got the this one's got the company manufacturer down at the bottom. You might be able to see that very well, but just underneath that sort of central thing where which joins the pins to the back. So it is now. Truth is in the wearing. So let me try this on. pretty cool like that <laughs> so these are going to go on to here where is that little bit so it works is the stitching seems to have slightly missed on this little part here I'm going to point that out um, to the seller but Probably not going to be worth sending it back. I'm just going to end up and just sewing that in. I'll just sew that in by, by hand, probably. So yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to be basically be basing my papaka off the uh, papaka that C.J. Campbell has in his video, which is 
uh, where he actually gets an original uh, German papaka, uh, or Russian papaka, um, which was used by the German Cossacks in France. Because, um, yes, the Germans did use Cossacks in France, contrary to what lots of people believe. It's partly due to the fact that if you search online for Cossacks in the Wehrmacht, you always come up with the 15th Cossack Cavalry Corps or 15th SS Cossack Cavalry Corps, which were basically only on the Eastern Front. However, that kind of misleads people into thinking that they were only on the Eastern Front, when in 1942 to 3, vast amounts of German Eastern troops got transferred to the West because they were scared about them deserting, which some of them did. And even when they transferred them to the West, some still deserted when they were in the West, and quite a few surrendered. However, the Cossacks were known for their fighting uh, spirit and their reliability, so quite often um, they would fight until the end alongside the Germans, such as there was a, a Cossack unit that I believe was cut, cut off in Dunkirk, and the unit that I portray was cut off in the Lorient pocket, and they both surrendered in 1945. And if they really wanted to, they could have downed weapons and surrendered. Um, but, yeah. And also quite a lot of the... A little bit of my unit managed to escape west. Um, when the... Um, just before Lorient got cut off. And joined... Stayed with the German forces rather than surrendering. And when they arrived back in Germany, um, they got transferred to the 15th Cossack Cavalry Corps. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you that. So, there is the Soviet cat badges. And there is the German ones. So, yeah, I'm going to have that for my Don Cossack one. So, yeah, that's basically that. So, hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe. Bye.